Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be picking up right where we left off yesterday's video after looking at that swing failure pattern of the low, the rise now that we've had in price, why I have compounded my short position and now looking for lower. It's as simple as that and I'm going to be talking you through exactly what we saw yesterday, the reason why we've topped out where we have and again why I have now compounded that short position. So yeah, I'm going to give you all the juicy details, so let's get straight into it. So I want to pick up right where we left off yesterday's video, and that was while we were at the low, obviously we're talking about those 17 million trapped shorts and why that was giving us a rise in price. Okay, There was two key reasons, right? The trapped shorts on Bitcoin, e.g. giving you the potential for that short squeeze, as well as the ES. The ES is our highly correlated market, and the ES was also simultaneously moving up very strongly. OK, obviously, yesterday we were looking at the VWAP together, right? We were saying the VWAP and the potential CC is going to be our local resistance. And what actually happened was we simply went straight through the level. And this is what I mean, ladies and gentlemen, by trade the reaction, trade the reaction. If you go straight through a level, then there's clearly no trade to be had. And what happens? You look towards the next level to the upside. So level to level trading. If you have a level and there's no reaction, e.g. you go straight through that level, then there's no trade to be had. You have to wait for the reaction and also, of course, keep a very close eye on the order flow. That's what's helping us greatly here. So as always, I um, share everything first within my group. And then if, maybe a few hours later, if I'm feeling kind, I'll, I'll post it over on Twitter for free. And, uh, you know, th things that I was talking about yesterday over on, on well, obviously my group and then and then Twitter. You know, why we, we, we were still looking higher on Bitcoin. Why? Because the ES was also pushing up. So we're going through resistances, thus we are expecting if the ES is pushing up, Bitcoin to follow. Like I also then confirmed later to my team, we are still looking for higher on Bitcoin. The ES, the stock market continues to push up. So should Bitcoin. And we start to run into our first region of resistance. OK, and on this region of resistance, we form this triangle. So this was yesterday. OK, we formed this really nice triangle. And this was the idea that I had. We had bullish CVD divergences, e.g. overall, we had to expect it really to break to the upside. Continuation up, stock market was still pushing up and we had bullish CVD within that triangle. OK, this was my idea. Let's just run the low very slightly, get a rise to the upside before the bigger drop. OK, and here you can see. We did get the fake out of the triangle low. So from the idea we were looking for the fake out of the low, got that very slight fake out of the low. We then reclaimed and the bullish divergences increase and the ES also continues to move up. You can see the ES then got a strong move to the upside. And what happened? Bitcoin got that strong move to the upside too, going through the CC very clearly, heading up to around $20,000. Of course, topping out at around $19,950-ish. OK, and from that, we then saw the large move to the downside. Right. So overall, we were looking for the move down. It done the slight fake out move up, did move up higher than expected, of course. But nevertheless, we were then eventually expecting that move to the downside. And what happened today? We got that move to the downside. And now this is obviously continuing down as we currently speak. OK, so overall, it's, it's a matter of like laying out the plan, marking out the levels, and then, you know, just having the confidence to read the order flow and make an informed decision. So I, I actually informed my team that I had compounded my short position. Why? Because upon that large move to the upside that we saw after the break of the triangle, OK, for me, this was running into my resistance. And then we also finished the day with a CCV setup, which I'm currently looking at. So we have the CCV setup currently on on Bitcoin, as well as what I found very interesting was the order flow. So this is a real big golden nugget. So pay attention at the low. You obviously saw those 17 million trap shorts and that gave us this large rise to the upside. And then at the very high, what happened? We had 27 million new longs open. So it's just like crazy. At the very low, you have people panic shorting. And then at the very high, you have people panic longing. OK, then the day closed. Then we got the CCV set up. OK, I obviously took my shorts uh, in anticipation of the drop. I was not I've not waited for the acceptance. <laughs> OK, um, but this is uh, acceptable because my short was higher on the retest. I actually got in on this candle and why did, I'll, I'll explain this. So I compared my short on this candle. Why? Because when you come down onto the lower term time frames, there was two key reasons for me compounding on on this rise. First of all, we simply took that last high on a very quick fashion come up for a swing failure pattern and simultaneously it was 
uh, right on around the stock market was was going to be opening right within 30 minutes to go and the stock market actually done a really similar push to the upside ending in a big failure okay so the stock market took its high and then did in its failure upon the open upon the 230 open right and has continued down ever since. Simultaneously, of course, I'm looking at the DXY, and the DXY was strong. So, I mean, my predictions have been, um, over the past 12 hours, my predictions have not been spot on, okay? I've not been right to the exact dollar, but I've made money nevertheless. Like here, I was looking to potentially short the VWAP, but we went straight through the VWAP. There was no trade for me to be had, okay? Up here at the triangle, I was looking for another overall a run to the upside, that run to the upside went a little bit higher than expected. Absolutely fine. Okay. Meant actually uh, needed to be remaining patient. And I was remaining patient, remaining patient. And then on the retest, on the swing failure pattern, on the stock market open with the ES with a swing failure pattern, managed to get into that compound, that short position. Now, really simply, I have the CCV setup. Okay, which is quite a drop. But nevertheless, I got the CCV setup. Of course, we need to get acceptance below the previous day uh, value area high. Uh, but if not, I can just use this simply as a take profit. Um, and now the way I'm going to be doing this is if we get acceptance below the PD VHA, then of course, I'll be looking down towards 18,373. This might not play out today. Okay, I don't hold great confidence in this coming down all the way today. If it does, brilliant. But I think we have, I'm going to explain the, 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 the more local levels that I see as support and resistance for you. Okay, so real simply $19,000 is now our local support. And this is a zone. It's from 18,700 to 19,100. This is a bit of a zone, but it's because when you start to look at the confluences that you have here, you actually have a lot of different confluences, okay? From the, uh, of course, from the NPOC up until around this, well, I mean, from, from you know, this sort of PMPOC, week, weekly POC zone. So it's like a little bit of a zone um, as a support. But that, that's our support. So we could like mark out this as a box. And of course, if we lose this support, then we got the CCV setup, which greatly increases the probabilities uh, upon losing this support zone. And I think for me, the resistance is clear as day. Okay, the resistance for me is clear as day. It's this big 20k zone. Okay, this big 20k zone, weekly, dailies, Overall range, lots and lots and lots and lots of volume here. Big level. Okay. So in my opinion, we have the big resistance here. We have we have our support below us. And really simply then it's still a level to level game, right? So we need to do our technical analysis, mark out our levels, see if we can spot any patterns. When those patterns start to form, understand how to trade them not get too excited, not get too bearish, not get too bullish, simply trade the charts as they're coming, following and monitoring, as always, the order flow, ladies and gentlemen, very important, and then we can make informed decisions. I know for my informed decision, I need to see acceptance below here for really the setup to activate, but then upon activating, I also know that this is an important support, which I will use as a take profit for sure, and then if we lose that, I know the, the bigger CCV target. Invalidation of this? Well, quite simple. Locally, I could be saying to myself if we reclaim the POC, okay, currently it's resistance, and the bigger if we reclaim that back up to the VAL, uh, sorry, the VAL area high, and really the bigger resistance is up here. But for now, I traded my plan yesterday, which was look for a pump before a retracement. We got through key levels of resistance that I had with relatively ease. There was no trades to be had here during this rise. It was just clear strength all the way up along with the ES, which again, I want to emphasize is great importance for me. Clear strength on the ES until this morning where the ES got a swing failure pattern of the high. Bitcoin done a swing failure pattern of its last highs. This is an executable trade for me with the context of a CCV setup with the context of 20 million, 27 million potential trap shorts here uh, with the context of the ES pulling back, with the context of the, of, of the DXY dollar rising. This is our inverse correlation. This is our correlated assets. The correlated asset was weak. Gold was also weak. Silver was also weak. So we're talking about our commodities weak, our stock market weak, and the dollar strong leads me with a great belief that the Bitcoin is going to pull back too. And well, Currently, it's already pulled back. Let me give you the exact percentage. Already pulled back 
Okay, so this is this for me is a winning trade, whatever happens next. But of course, uh, the most important thing for me is not the winning or the losing. It's the analysis, it's the thought process, and it's the execution. You know, I'm all about the execution and getting it, it right at the end of the day. The money is just a side hustle. But um, yeah, that, that for me was the analysis for the day. I, I, I hope you have found it interesting. Okay, a little bit different than normal. Uh, but nevertheless, I hope you found it interesting. Of course, if you want to learn more from us, we got all the educational content on the website. That is obviously explaining everything from the beginning, from the very beginner's stuff to the very advanced stuff. Okay, obviously going from apprentice to master course, uh, where obviously we include all the order flow th that you're going to need to understand. And of course, this is like each video is one hour long. We have the speed runs on top of this if you want the quick five minute version. And our, our newest videos are obviously um, going over Atis, which is, I think many people will agree, is, is really uh, at the moment much better than EXO. Um, and we got all the new templates for you on, on that. So if you want to learn about Atis, if you want to get the templates, if you want to learn everything about trading, the order flow, how to read this alongside us, as well as the updates as I'm seeing them live in the time, not just myself, but the other coaches too. Uh, you can get that over at Chart Champions. And again, then if you have any questions about our charts, you can see here, you can come in, ask any question and I'll give you the answer. I'm asking every single question that people have about my charts every day. So, you know, you have a question, you get it answered. You want to learn, you watch the videos. And really, it's just Chart Champions is the place that you will come if you really want to become a self-sufficient trader. We are here as our job to give you a service of teaching you how to trade. So at the end of the day, you can go out and do this yourself. Uh, that's our goal. So you can become a full-time professional trader. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to wrap up with. Um, I, I, I'm trying to get Igor to do a, a public video for you. I think that would be brilliant. So hey, give give this. I'll, I'll say to him, if this video can reach 3,000 likes, I will uh, I'll say to him, hey, it's time for you to do a public video that people want it. So uh, show you, show me, and show him that you also want that video from the legend. Literally, this guy's a legendary trader, legendary trader. And if you want to see him for free here on YouTube, smash that like button to 3000 and I will make sure it gets done. Because at the moment, he's he's much of the guy that just likes to be in the Discord and a little bit behind the scenes. But hey, let's say 3000 likes and I'll, I'll get him to give, it, give you an appearance. <laughs> so I'm just going to say this. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Hopefully I've explained well enough why I compounded my short and now we got the pump and see if we can get the pull back. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. I love you. And that's for me signing out. Have a brilliant weekend ahead. Cheers, everybody. And well, look at this. Here we go. <laughs> love you and goodbye. Of course, I'll end with the, the disclaimer. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Read this disclaimer. Trades on a pen, paper demo trade account. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye.